Oh, we start it? Yeah, I don't like being this close to you. I really don't. Oh, uh, let's do a taste test. Dog shit. It's whatever. It's like three dog out of ten. Shit. Three out of ten. Welcome back to another vlog, everybody. Welcome back. Episode four. We are at the bike for this episode. Playing the two, three, three hundred dollar buy-in. Lower stakes for this session. Uh, Tyler was disciplined enough to do that. I was not. You will find out soon why. Listen, like and subscribe. Uh, helps the channel out a ton. And uh, let's get into the hands. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into the hands, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to be up to date with our latest vlogs. All right, let's get right into the hands. All right, so in this first hand at the one three tables. All right, so in this first hand at the two three tables, I open King Jack offsuit in the low jack to $12 over a limper. The button calls and the original limper calls. So we're going three ways to a flop of ace four three, all diamonds. I have the king of diamonds in my hand and under the gun leads for 60. So uh, this is literally my first hand playing and maybe the second hand at the table. So I have no reads on this on these people. But this guy looks like he doesn't really understand poker, but he knows what a good hand is. So when he leaves for 60, I put him on at least two pair, maybe an ace or uh, a set um, at the top of his range. And with the king of diamonds, I think I just need to make the call here. And the turn is another ace. At this point, he slows down, he checks, and I check back with all my equity with the nut flush draw. But I think a bet could be good here, representing trip aces, of course. The river is a good one, giving us the nut flush, the 10 of diamonds, and under gun checks. I bet $80 and under the gun snap folds 4-3. So kind of unfortunate that the ace came, could have got value, at least good to win this one. All right, in this next hand, I got king jack suited in the small blind. The low jack ohms to 11, the button calls and... I think it's a good place to squeeze from out of position and I three bits of $45 low jack folds but the button calls so a little weird dynamic there all right the flop comes 633 two hearts obviously not too good for our range but it is not in the range of the buttons defending range as well unless he has pocket sixes so on these pair of boards I'm gonna bet and I bet 40 and the button folds in this hand I got pocket sixes in the low jack and I opened to $10. The cutoff three bets to 25. With pocket sixes I'm gonna look to set mine, I'd make the call. Flop comes king 10 three two clubs, completely miss. I check and the cutoff checks back. When the turn comes to two clubs bringing in the flush draw, I don't think my pocket sixes are gonna be good at showdown so I decided to turn my hand into a bluff. I think I could easily represent the flush here and considering that he checked flop I think he has a weak king or maybe a middling pocket pair maybe jacks or maybe queens. So I bet 40 and he calls with a plan to pretty much bluff again on any river. River's offsuit five, I bet 80, and he quickly calls and shows king-queen offsuit. So I'm not gonna get this one through and we just move on. All right, after being a card dead for an hour and a half, we pick up king nine of hearts, our first playable hand. We are incredibly annoyed. There are two limps to me and I open the low jack to $15. Only the under the gun limper calls, so we're headed to a flop heads up of king nine deuce with two spades. When he checks to me, I check back like a donkey, and I think this is a really bad play because I've been card dead, and I'm hoping that he's going to make some sort of hand so I can get paid off when I have the board pretty locked up. The turn comes an ace, and when he checks again, plan is not working out well, so I'm going to bet $10, and he quickly calls. The river completes the flush and eight of spades, and he leads out on this card for $25. Unfortunately, it is completing the front door flush, but we're just gonna make the quick call here, and turns out he also rivered a two pair, and he shows nine eight offsuit. All right, so after winning our first hand, playing it like shit, we pick up queen 10 offsuit. Middle position opens to $15, and given this being a pretty big sizing, I just call on the button. Although I do think about three betting with this marginal holding. I just thought since he 5x raised, I didn't want to bloat up this pot and completely brick. And we head to a flop, which is an absolute brick. 365 with one heart. When he leads out for $20 here, seeing this 
pretty shitty flop that hits my range much more than his uh, early position opening raise. I decide to raise to 55 because this hits my range much better than his, and I'm gonna put a lot of his weak middling pocket pairs in a tough spot, like sevens through tens, all those over pairs, and he decides to call after a while of tanking. So once he calls here, I am definitely putting him on sevens plus, or maybe a couple of uh, strong over cards. The turn absolutely bails us out when we hit a 10. So 10 of hearts on the turn, he checks and now I change my bet for bluffing into betting for value. I bet $70 and assuming he has seven through nines, he is gonna be in a tough spot to make a call, but he actually decides to make the call. The river comes off a jack and when he checks to me, I am not sure if I can get value from much worse here, uh, whether he has seven through sevens through nines, which I'm putting him on. So when the jack comes, if he happened to have a jack as an over, I think I would be value betting myself here. So I just check back and we get lucky when he shows pocket nines, exactly what we put him on. All right, in this next hand, I got queen jack offsuit in the low jack. I opened a 15 over a limper and the cutoff calls. The flop comes jack, jack seven with no flush draw and having the board pretty much locked up, I check giving him a chance to bluff at it, but he checks back. The turns a five of diamonds. Time to give some value. I bet $15 and he makes the call. Rivers the 10 of clubs, essentially with the nuts here. I bet $55. He quickly makes the call. I turn over queen jack offsuit and he mucks his cards. So in this hand, finally got a premium. I got aces in the cutoff, four limps to me. I need to punish these motherfuckers. So I race to 30. Get three callers. The flop comes jack nine deuce, two hearts out of the ace of hearts. And I think I make a mistake here. I bet $100. I think it's a little bit too big, especially considering I have the ace of hearts, but these people don't really know what they're doing and they're pretty much calling with a bunch of junk pre-flop. So I don't think I don't think it matters too much, but I bet $100, everyone folds. All right, so for our third hand of the night, we pick up ace jack offsuit. Our stack is about 450 right now. There's one limp to me and I open in the low jack to $15. The limper that calls has been regularly limping many hands and seeing a lot of flops and constantly losing them. So he's in for his third bullet now. The flop comes out king 10-6 with two diamonds. He leads out into me for $20 here. And I only call, which I think might be a mistake just given how weak this player is and how many flops he's been seeing. I think he plays his hands way too aggressively and it has shown with how many hands he's lost. Given that though, I still make the call and the turn comes out a four of clubs, which is pretty much a brick. He again leads out to me for $25, and instead of making the mistake I made on the flop, I decide to raise here. Not sure if my line makes a lot of sense here, but given that I raised preflop and he just called, I think the king 10 with two diamonds hits my range a lot harder than his, so he could just be setting a price for a flush draw. I raised to $90 as a bluff, and we quickly get punished when he jams for 250. Unfortunately, we have to make the fold here, but I think uh, more times than not, this would work against this specific player type. Unfortunately, we lost the last hand, but in this next hand, we pick up a premium ace-king offsuit. I open in middle position to $15, the cutoff button, and two original limpers call. So we're headed multi-way to a flop of king 10 9 with two diamonds it checks to me and given this is multi-way i think i need a size up here so i bet out 40 dollars only the button call and the first limper call the turn completes the front door flush the five of diamonds when the first limper checks to me here i go back and forth between betting and checking and i think i leaned towards betting in the moment because I held the ace of diamonds, the nut flush draw, but I think this was a mistake. So I unfortunately bet $100 here, which I think was a big mistake. The button folds and we immediately get punished when the limper jams for only 170 more. It's a really tough spot. Given we're getting a, a good price for this, I'd just make the call begrudgingly. So we get showed the bad news when he shows three, four of diamonds and when the river comes off a board pairing five, 
If I were to have checked that turn, got into a river much more cheaply with a smaller pot, and he either bet out for a big pot size bet, uh, valuing his flush or whatever it was, I don't really think I'm getting away from this hand either way, just when the board pairs, because a lot of his two pairs I beat now. Given the way I played it, I think I lost the maximum and I should have definitely checked the turn and just called down a cheaper bet sizing on the river. All right, so after getting stacked in that really tough spot and kind of playing the hand incorrectly, we pick up a premium pocket kings. The straddle is on and we are excited because we want to double up now. There's one limp to us. I raised to $25. Only the straddler calls. So we're headed heads up to a flop of 963 rainbow. We bet $25 and he snap fulls. All right, guys, time for a breath of fresh air because we are officially down tremendous at a 2-3 game. Uh, in for 800. Only have 300 in my stack, so uh, that means I'm down five bills at this retarded game. Um, table's really bad, so I'm probably going to move up in stakes. Not recommended ever to move up in stakes in one session, especially when you're down. But I think it's the move, honestly, because I'm trying to play for a while. And if I don't, I'm just going to sit there and either milk away or win tiny $20 pots. So... We're gonna move up to the five five, probably buying for five bills and run this shit up. Let's go. Alright guys, we're a changed fucking man. We changed tables, we're going up in stakes. Our first hand, we pick up Ace King offsuit. Literally first hand as we sit down. The straddle is on. Under the gun, one opens to $35. I three bet to 110. The small blind surprisingly makes the call, so I'm putting him on a pretty strong pocket pair right now and the original razor calls. The flop comes out a beautiful ace of diamonds, six of hearts, five of hearts. So we flop top top on a pretty dynamic board three ways. The original razor does something incredibly weird, which I haven't really experienced before, and he donk leads for $30. Leading out for $30 into a pot of like 350, I just don't think I can make a flat call here because if he's, you know, setting a price for a flush draw, it'd be pretty bad, especially with one player also left to act. So I decide to raise to $130. Small blind folds, the donkey moans and groans and claims that he folds ace queen. He doesn't show me his cards, but when he's folding, uh, he kind of raises his hand like this. So I think I saw a jack of hearts. Not sure that means anything. I don't know if I saw it correctly, but I don't really believe that he has ace queen here because why would he lead out? I think he'd just check call any flop like that. In this hand, I have seven, six spades under the gun. I open to $10 and get four callers. So five ways to the flop of ace five, three with two spades, flopping a flush draw. I bet $35 and get two callers. The turn is an offsuit eight. I bet $80 and the cutoff calls. This is the same guy that I tangled with in the sixes hand when I tried to bluff him off there. When he calls my turn bet and my flop bet, I'm pretty much only putting him on an ace because the way he was playing, he was pretty much calling down with any pair and I don't think he has a five or anything that he's calling with here. So I'm putting him on an ace. So I'm looking to fire a third river on practically any card. But when the river comes uh, off suit three pairing the board, I think this is one of the worst cards I could bluff on just because it makes any ace feel better about his hand and that's pretty much what I am putting him on. I decide to give up and he checks and says he has jack high and that beats seven high. So jack high is going to take this pot down, unfortunately. All right. Our next hand in the five, five streets is also ace king, but the heart variety. We have 700 in our stack right now. The hijack opens to $20, low jack calls and I three bet to $110. Both make the call, so we're going three ways again to another $350 pot. The flop comes out a beautiful King 10 3 rainbow. Again, we flop top top. It checks to me. I see bet 175, and both of them pretty quickly make the fold. Just happy to see things turn around. All right, guys, we're finally building a nice stack here. We uh, we are no longer down on the session. We are almost even and we pick up two three of clubs. 
I'm looking at the nut low, baby, so we're gonna play this hand. <laughs> it folds to me, and I open on the button to $20. We only get the big blind to call, so I think heads up, I can expose this man with the nut low. The flop comes out, ace nine five, smashing my range. We see bet after he checks to us, and we take it down. Well guys, hope you like the hands. Uh, pretty rough session for me. I was out of the 2-3 game for $500. I was out of the 2-3 game, uh, down 500. Uh, did not enjoy that. Moved to the 5-5 five, five and managed to book a profit of 270. So minus 130 on the day. Not too bad. Or no, 130, 230. I literally asked you if you knew how much you lost. And you said yes. Anyway, I lost. <laughs> oh, no, I won. I'm unprofessional, bro. I won. I you don't just even know what the fuck I, happened I to you, misspoke. though. I just misspoke. I lost 230. Fuck this guy. Um, he lost 30. I won $300. $305 to be exact. So oh, lesson learned. Always move up in stakes when you are down money on the session. That is how you get out of the hole, guys. No, lesson learned. Go to Baccarat and bet stop, stop, how much you're bro. down oh on a dragon. God, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed the fucking hands. Have fun peeling.